At some point in your life, you will lose data. It's never a question if, but rather when. In order to minimize risk of losing data, always have three to one backup, three copies, two on different media, one on the remote location. And on this video, I will show you how to get your data back if you have lost it. There could be different scenarios how you lose your data. Either your NAS is broken, drives are broken, you d accidentally deleted a file, or you had the ransomware and some hackers have deleted and encrypted your files, or maybe you lost your data due to fire, flooding, or burglars. So on this video, I'm gonna show you how to recover data from RAID 5. If you have a box with three drives or more, I'll show you how to get that data back. So before you buy any software, let's go through the basic steps that you could try and see if your data is still available. So what I have here is two volumes, RAID 1 and RAID 5. So you're probably also curious what sort of videos are those. And this is a video where Robbie is testing Wi-Fi 7 Unify gear at his home. So you'll see things like his garden and his cat. So when I open the folder, I can see the files are encrypted in a zip format. This is something you will normally see after ransomware attack. If you try to access those files, it will ask you for the password. If you don't know the password, there's nothing you can do about it. So before you panic, go to recycle bin and check if there are any files in there. If there is nothing there, but you have enabled snapshots on your NAS, snapshots is something like system restore on your windows, where you can roll back previous versions of your files and folders. So if there's no files in recycling bin, no files in snapshots, you might check your backup devices. So I have backed it up to RAID 5 and I can see that file is also encrypted and archived so I don't have access to it. But remember, before they got encrypted and archived, those files were on this hard drive as uh, in different form and shape. So we should technically still be able to get those files off the hard drive but using the software. So I received a key for Stellar data recovery software. So I'm gonna be testing out, does this software can recover data from RAID 5? So let's have a look if I can get the data back and see what is inside that video. So let's shut down the NAS and then we can start recovery process. So in my case, I have three hard drives that are set in RAID 5 that I'm gonna be using to recover the data. The first thing that you need to do is you need to remove those drives from your NAS and connect them to a Windows computer. If those are SATA drives, most likely they are, you will need a USB to SATA adapter. So you plug it in and then connect it to a computer. If you need more of the USB ports, you can have USB splitter. But also keep in mind that you can directly connect drives to your PC if they are SSD based, like this, then you don't need additional power. You plug them in, connect them to a PC and they'll be, you'll be able to read them. But mechanical drives will need power as well. So if you have a PC at home, you probably have a power supply inside the PC. So you can connect your hard drives using that power supply. So if you have adapter like this for SATA USB conversion, then you can plug them in to a mechanical drive. And if you need this extra power, it has a power port here. So you can just plug the power in there and you will be powering the hard drive on. So you'll need three of them or five of them or six of them, how many drives you had in your RAID 5 setup. So since I have only one of these adapters, I will be connecting those drives using SATA ports and the power from the power supply. So first of all, we need to connect power to these hard drives. And then we also need to connect SATA cables. This is how data is gonna be transmitted. So if you don't have enough SATA ports on your computer, but you have PCIe slot, you can have adapter like this, which is gonna give you four, six or more SATA ports uh, through PCIe slot. So you can slot that into your PC and your computer, and then you'll be able to connect those drives to it. I'm gonna be using this Minis Forum MS01 uh, PC or mini PC, which has a PCIe slot at the back. It's a really amazing PC, really good performance. All you need to do is slide it out. You can then see a PCIe slot in there. It comes with X16 slot, but card has X4 connection. It doesn't matter. It can still work. All these slots are backwards compatible. So now we can connect these SATA uh, cables to this SATA card inside this PC. And the power is connected to a power supply separately. 
So now we can boot the PC and see what happens. So let's have a look if we can see those drives connected. We need to open create and format hard disk partitions to see if those disks are uh, recognized. And it looks like my power supply is broken. It doesn't power up uh, those drives. So instead I'm going to be using this dock and that's one drive. And that's the second drive. I have connected two drives through docking station through USB and uh, the third drive is going to be separately connected through USB. So let's start Stellar um, recovery up and see if those drives are recognized inside the app. So in order to recover files individually you just need to go to recover from and click your RAID 5. So if you don't clip deep scan it's going to show you files that are still existent on these uh, volumes on this RAID. If you click deep scan it's going to look for deleted files and everything will be categorized based on file types. If your drives are physically damaged I recommend going to their website. They offer laboratory data recovery when they strip that hard drive apart and then they connect these um, memory modules, these disks to special equipment which will uh, be able to read the data of those disks. So even though it's broken your uh, data is still not lost. So what was that video I was looking for? It was Robbie testing his Wi-Fi 7 setup, which is a freshly released Unify 7 uh, three type of devices, which is uh, all of them are gateways. Uh, some of them are access points, some of them are routers on their own, and some of them are switches. If you want to have a look at this video, it's probably going to be live on Inner Circle on Patreon or Ko-Fi. Uh, so do check it out if you're curious about it. So this video will show what speeds we were getting when we are testing Wi-Fi 7 equipment from Unify. So probably soon we're also going to release a video on the general platform. If you want to be notified about it, then follow the channel and you get that notification. Otherwise, thank you for watching. See you next time.